Hi fellow traders, well we're off and running on a new week, but we're driving the same old broke down car. This market is just, it seems like it's stuck in this summertime low. Uh, even though we have a lot going on, there's a, a lot of stuff pulling on it, it just seems like we can't get sustained moves here or there. So we just have to take what it's going to give us and just be there so that if we do get a big move, we take advantage of it. And when the market starts to come back, we're not so far in left field that we can't function. So we're just, just motoring right along, doing the things that we need to do, taking advantage of what we can take advantage of and patiently waiting, patiently waiting. So one thing I want to share with you today is you don't make money trading off of effort. You make money trading off of execution. And remember, I've said this over and over and over again for years. Execution is worship and trading because that's the only thing that we have 100% control over is our execution. We determine when we click that button whether it's to take a trade, to take it off, to take profit, we have 100% control over that. Unfortunately, too many of us give that control up. We don't realize that we have it and we give it up or we don't manage it very well. So we don't do well executing. And if we don't execute well, we lose money. And like I said, a lot, a lot of you put in the effort. Now I talked to a lot of traders and they said, man, I've been doing this for a year, a year and a half, two years. I've, I've been in here and I just can't seem to, to go anywhere. Every time we break it down, it boils down to execution. It's like, I, they know what to do, but they have a problem doing it and they can't figure out why. Okay, and that, that's what it all boils down to, execution. Why do you take a trade when you shouldn't take a trade? You know, and this, this kind of piggybacks off of the, the Rolling With Air video I did. It got corrupt when I was converting it yesterday. I've got to redo it. But, you know, it's, it's not about how much time you put in. It's not about how hard you work. It's all about execution. It's just that easy. It's just that simple. But it's the hardest thing in the world to do in, in trading. So, you know, that's what the focus is going to be really um, on this roadmap to success this year. You know, I'm gonna we're going to be making stops along the way to try and help you guys with your execution. Because that's where the rubber meets the road. Um, so what's going to be coming here in the next week or so, I promised you guys the earnings, uh, earnings class for swing trading. Uh, we're going to do that. I'm going to, these are going to be in addition to the roadmap to success classes. So we may, we, we're going to look at probably having two different classes during the week, um, for a couple of weeks. So I want everybody to be ready for when earnings season kicks off that, you know, you understand. And then you could use this strategy throughout the whole year. It doesn't have to just be around earnings season because a lot of times when earnings season hits, there's so many stocks. You just, you go crazy trying to pick which one you want. But there's a, a way that we're going to, I'm going to show you how to filter it down and, you know, get more of a select group, just like we do every morning with, when we're day trading, we get that select group of stocks that we filter down and we just work off of that. So that's coming. Um, so members, you stay tuned and I, I will let you know uh, when it's going to, to start. I just got to look closer at the calendar here. All right, so today uh, we started out, well, no, RCL was the second trade I took. 
But I started the day and capped the day with BA, so we'll talk about that last. Uh, here was RCL. I was waiting for it. Again, the, I've changed the way I've tried to explain how I do the the uh, trend continuations, how we could do these a more aggressive or conservative. And really, you're just looking for the stock to break out of the channel or range that it put in. So RCL, you know, here's the low. Then we had to bounce up here. This would be the top of the channel. This is the bottom. And to use some of the terms that we use in, in trading, this would be the macro channel. It's going to be the widest channel. And then throughout the day, we form micro channels, just smaller channels within the big channel that's tradable or that we can <clears throat> make trade decisions on. So here, we, we hit the bottom here. We bounced. We came back. And we bounced up again and we put in a lower high and so we started to come back we can't we rejected off of this five minute opening range low um, and this level tends to be really really solid after the first 30 minutes or so once it puts in you'll see and if you keep seeing this it's been it's respected all day and you see this in stock after stock after stock um so that's why for me the five minute opening range is is just solid so what i did and in this case this is the more conservative entry i waited for this candle to sell through and close and then i waited for the next candle to make a lower low and that triggered my entry the more aggressive entry would be shorting as soon as we broke the low of this channel and, you know, give it a run. Yeah, we would have made more money if we did that. But there was a more of a risk that this would be a fake out and it starts to rip back up. So there are two, like I said, two schools of thought. I'm going to trade using both schools of thought because I have different types of traders in the room and I don't want to leave one group behind while I'm working or you know showing another group so I'm going to use both entries and kind of give you an idea of when it is safer to use a more um, aggressive entry than not and this one was a, a, a stock where this would have been a, a safer bet to be more aggressive because you can see the nine is so weak. Everything is trending down. It can't push through the nine. It can't even poke above it. So, I mean, extremely weak. So this would have been one that you could be a little more aggressive on. But we took the conservative entry, first target down through the, um, the 100, the, the 90 day. And this, I had, this was really out of place i mean this was all the way down at like 50 71 or so and that's why i took profit at 50 75. then i went back and looked at it later on and this is at 50 97. so i don't know it was probably here in the morning but once the stock opened the market opened this probably changed on me so but this wasn't where it was now it wasn't there earlier that morning um, but you can see we started to recover and I went ahead and took it off if it couldn't sell off after this candle then we did put in a lower high a lower low but it just got bought right back up so aggressively I went ahead and killed it um, didn't even wait for it to go back to break even I just took what it was going to give me and, and let it go and you can see as we got later on in the day this thing got back into this channel really no man's land for me um, all in through here but you can see it hit five minute opening range low once um, twice 
twice, it just couldn't push it. Um, but that was our trade on RCL. Just a little base hit. Didn't really get what I wanted. We had plenty of room to the downside. It just didn't, they just didn't let it go. Um, and so BA, we tried opening range breakdown on this. Five minute opening range. We, we were below all the pre-market levels, everything. Um, had the five minute opening range candle put in. As soon as we broke the low, I got it. This was a solid red candle at one point. Sold off a bit and then aggressively got bought back up. This candle opened, started selling, and then it just ripped up. I mean, just ripped up. So ended up taking it off, uh, held it a little bit too long because of how fast it moved. It you know, I wasn't moving fast enough to get it where I should have. And I didn't want to put a, a hard stop in because I felt I might get stopped out on a quick spike for no reason, but probably should have in this case. Um, but took a little bit heavier loss than I wanted to. And you can see this stock had so much strength. It whipped, ripped right up. And we pull back in and this is significant because this is the top and this is the bottom of the macro channel that it put in today and then here we we came down we bounced we made a higher low and then we sold off some more but then made a lower low relative to this bounce but still a higher low uh, relative to the low we put in that day. So as we recovered, all I was doing was waiting for it to get through this the top of this channel it put in. This is one of the micro channels that it put in inside of that macro one. Now, I didn't draw the line here, but you could see um, I could have drawn a trend line here and this would be the, the channel that it was, that, and it traded in it pretty much most of the day. Um, so once we broke through it, I got in, we pulled back, it came really close, really close to killing me on this trade, but it held and went up. We made the first target, which was 186.50. Now, when I got in, the 200 was a good ways away. <laughs> By the time I got profit, you could see the 200 was screaming in. Um, and I feel I was really fortunate to even get this because of how hard this was coming in. And then took the rest off at break even. And I waited and waited. And we never lost this channel. This, this level right here. Never lost this part of the channel. Once we broke through the top. Now, aggressively, I could have gotten in here. But I waited. And I was just patient to wait for this channel break I got in and the bottom fell out I mean the bottom really fell out of this and during this time I was watching the race so I really wasn't paying attention to how this thing just went berserk and by the time I saw it again we were back up here and I had my target in at uh what was it 189 uh, 45 I had it in at 189.45 and it went up I got two cents positive slippage but that was good and then you know that was it right now I'm still holding it looking for it to potentially push back up I'm not gonna let it go past break even but just in case we get a you know one of those late afternoon late day runs after market runs I'll be in it for that but, um, you know, pretty decent trade. This kind of brought me back. Um, these trades kind of brought me back from this mess right here. You know, and it took three trades. It should never take three trades to bring you back from one loss. And that tells you right there, you didn't manage your risk properly if that was the case. Um, so, 
I didn't manage my wrist properly, but got bailed out today. Um, did not end start this week red like I did last week. So everything worked out good. I'm happy we're going to come in to tomorrow um, better focused. And hopefully, hopefully things will work out. Now, the reason why these stocks aren't really moving, that there's no catalyst on them. Now, every now and then we find a stock that does generate a catalyst and it allows it to move opposite the market or independent of it. But right now, everything that's on our watch list is there because it's moving with the market. And that's not the ideal trading scenario really for my strategy. So I'm going to experience more failures, um, more stop outs, because the market right now is just not conducive to a lot of opening range trades. Now, when we start getting earnings back and we get stocks moving independently, it's going to work out great. But right now, I'm taking what is given me. We're still growing our account. That's the number one priority is to get you guys to grow your account. Just because you're not making hundreds and thousands of dollars a day, you know, you got to wait. This this industry is going to give you delayed gratification. Now, sometimes it will give you instant gratification, but that's the worst thing it could do for you because it gets you thinking that you know everything and you got it. And before you know it, it has you. So, you know, you got to understand this is a, a delayed gratification industry. But when it starts giving, if you're, if you're doing what you're supposed to do, it won't stop. So, you guys have a great night, a great evening, and I will catch you in the morning.